Hello, and welcome to a special edition of the Cosmic Companion. The Sun is now revealed in the closest photos ever taken of our parent star. The Solar Orbiter recently produced the closest pictures ever taken of our Sun, revealing our star in stunning detail. These are the first images from the Solar Orbiter ever released to the public. This joint mission from NASA and the ESA launched on February 9th of this year and it made its first close pass of the sun near the middle of June. These amazing images will help scientists piece together the sun's atmospheric layers, which is, which is important for understanding how it drives space weather near the Earth and throughout the solar system. The current global health pandemic led to the shutdown of operations at the European Space Operations Center, or ESOC, in Germany uh, in the midst of testing. On June 1st and on, later on June 6th, the spacecraft passed through first the ion and then the dust tails of Comet Atlas, which recently shattered while orbiting the Sun. Two weeks later, on June 15th, as the spacecraft came within 77 million kilometers, or about 48 million miles of our parent star, a suite of and instruments came to life. Now, normally the first images from instruments are tests, not expected to produce any usable results. But this first light was different. Seen in data from the extreme ultraviolet imager, or the EUI, were previously unseen campfires dotting the sun. The EUI examines the sun in ultraviolet wavelengths, showing detail of events occurring at the surface of the sun, but where the temperatures were much higher than the surrounding areas, reaching millions of degrees. The EUI can see detail as small as 400 kilometers, or about 250 miles across. Now, these campfires are incredibly small compared to flares, maybe between one billionth and one millionth of the size of a typical flare. But they are seen everywhere that astronomers look in this new data. Now, the cause of these campfires is uncertain, but they could possibly be hypothetical nano flares, which could heat the corona to extreme temperatures. Now, understanding and measuring the temperatures of these campfires will be needed to precisely determine their origin. Fortunately, the spectral imaging of the coronal environment, or SPICE instrument, also on board Solar Orbiter, is capable of doing exactly that. Data from that instrument will soon be available to researchers. In addition to these eyes on the sun, the Solar Orbiter also features the Polyometric and Helioseismic Imager, or PHI instrument, um, providing information on changing movements of, within the sun, as well as the magnetic field of our parent star. Meanwhile, the Metis coronagraph blocks out most of the light from the sun while studying the corona or atmosphere of our parent star. The heliospheric imager um, telescope senses solar wind in the immediate vicinity of the spacecraft. By studying these charged particles released by our neighborhood star, 
Astronomers hope to learn more about processes deep within the Sun. The Solar Orbiter combined with the Parker Solar Probe as well as solar observatories here on Earth including the Daniel K. Inouye Solar Telescope could open up new understanding of this marvelous star that brings life to everything and everyone on the planet. For more details on Solar Orbiter and other space and astronomy news, please visit thecosmiccompanion.net or thecosmiccompanion.com.